Okay, so this week we've got nearly 50, 50 sneakers on the docket. We've got no time to waste. Let's get this heat check started with the latest from New Balance. All right, so for our first pick of the week is going to be the New Balance Hezzy Low Neo Flame Black and White. These are on the 16th for 110 each. So the next basketball sneaker from New Balance brings something to the table that I personally haven't seen and felt from the brand's current generation of product. Whimsy, strange word, but it's it's a little thing, but the contrast between the stoic black and white colorway and the Neo Flame that has a Velcro New Balance logo that you can put patches on, it brings a, a sense of fun and playfulness to it that we've only really seen when Kawhi Leonard breaks out his fun guy persona. There's a lot to like from the tech side as it's got a fuel cell foam footbed with absorb cushioning that we saw from the New Balance two-way and it's budget price at $110. It should be a solid performer for parents looking to lace up their kids in something besides Kyrie's and Kobe's. Okay, next up, we've got a handful of Pumas and Dunks dropping on the 16th and the 17th. First up, we have the Puma Palmero Special Pink Delight on the 16th for $90. Uh, we have that same shoe in the Vine and Clementine for $90. The Puma Suede Icons of Unity uh, on the 16th as well. Those are gonna be $75. The Nike Dunk Low Green Snake Skin on the 17th for $125. We also have the Cargo Khaki on for $125 on the same day. And then we have the Mystic Red for $110. All right. Another pick of the week is the Pata FC Barcelona Nike Air Max Plus. This is going to be on the 17th for 210. So this multi-tiered collab features legendary Dutch streetwear brand Pata, one of the most famous soccer clubs in the world in FC Barcelona, and an Air Max model that is significantly more famous in Europe than it is here in the States. The Air Max Plus gets a gradient toned upper in the colors of the club while pattern branding can be found on the tongue. Other nods to FC Barcelona include a lace dubre, a double swoosh in the team's colors, uh, orange accents throughout, and the phrase Colères del Mon, del Mon, which is a call out to the connection Amsterdam and Barcelona have, not just in soccer, but culturally as well. There's also an entire gear and apparel collection to go along with the sneakers, so check that out if you are a fan of the club. Uh, we also have the Air Jordan 38 fadeaway. This is going to be on the 17th for 200 bucks. The Jordan Zion 3 Mud, Sweat, and Tears, same day for 140. The Nike Dunk Low Vintage Panda. This is going to be on the 18th for 20, for uh, for uh, that 125. Can I say that word? 125. Yeah. Okay. So look, Panda Dunks are now in stores everywhere. They are no longer the problem that they used to be in terms of availability. You. Yes, you, person who is watching this, should have no problem picking up a pair of Panda Dunks right now, either in store or online. <sighs> what I'm getting at is that you can buy a pair of those Dunks now and do the job of making them look like these pre-distressed vintage Panda Dunks yourself. Yes, the pictures do give off the appearance that the quality and attention to detail to these is a little better than your run-of-the-mill Panda Dunks. At the end of the day, they're still Panda Dunks. Do not fall into the trap, man. Just don't. Okay, we also have the New Balance Warped Runner. This is gonna be in marine blue on the 18th for 150 bucks. Uh, the Stone Island New Balance 991 V2. This is gonna be like a global release. These are gonna be on the 18th for 270. We have the Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Satin Bread on the 18th for 180. Okay, so here's the $2,000 question. Does it matter that these satin breads are not super limited anymore to you? Did you want them now because the use of satin gives them a different kind of vibe or did you just want them in 2016 because they were limited to only 501 pairs and they were serial numbered as such? I guess we'll see in a few days if we really want reimagined Jordan 1s or if we just want them to be super limited so they sell for a lot in the resale market. Anyway, all right, we have the women's Nike Sabrina 1 bounded. This is going to be on the 18th for 130. Uh, then another pick of the week is the Demon Slayer Crocs collection. You guys know I'm excited about this. So they're dropping at New York Comic Con first because, of course, a collaboration between Crocs and arguably the most popular anime in the world, not named One Piece, would drop at New York Comic Con. I'm in LA, people. We've got a four pack of Crocs featuring the, uh, the core cast of the series. Now, I'm going to butcher these names, so you guys just bear with me. There's Tanjiro, Nizuko, Inosuke, and Zenitsu. Each colorway comes with gibbets that are connected to the character, which you should recognize if you're a fan of the series. 
I just haven't watched it very often. Sorry, and that's why I butchered those names. Moving on. We have the uh, Nike ISPA Universal, Natural, and Earth. These are going to be on the 19th for $80. Bucks. The uh, Nike Sabrina One Grounded on the 19th for $130. Uh, we have the Staple Puma B Suede on the same day for $90. Bucks. The Puma Forever Run Nitro and Puma White and Puma Silver. Now they're... First it was white and black. Now they have Puma Silver too. Anyway, those are on the 19th for $150. The Women's Puma Run Forever Nitro and Cherry Tomato. Those are on the 19th for $150. The Nike SB Zoom Janoski OG Plus in Red Stardust. Same day for $95. The Nike LeBron 21 Mellow Mellow. These are on the 19th for $200. Now, you're probably wondering the same thing I am. It's not a weird inside joke about Carmelo Anthony. Melo Melo is a pearl, according to playwithdiamonds.com, also known as the dragon pearl. It is being hailed as the world's most valuable pearl. It has an intricate pattern that looks like flames dancing across the pearl's surface. The worth of a mellow pearl comes from its rarity and its natural beauty, as it takes decades for a mellow snail to grow one of these pearls to a wearable size. And now you know. We also have the Essence and Solomon XT6 on the 19th, and this is to celebrate the retailer's 20th anniversary. So they teamed up with a number of brands that fit their fashion forward style, including Solomon. And if you're wondering, I got you too. Like Mellow Mellow, it's really pronounced Essence. S, Essence, get it? All right, anyway, we have the Nike Monarch 4 Fitness Fresh. This is on the 19th for 130 bucks. Uh, Spider and Reebok, they have you covered if you're looking for some rugged kicks made for those outdoor runs and hikes up the hills. So the Spider Reebok Zig Kinetica 2.5 on the 19th for 150. We have the Nano X3 Adventure Winter, same day for 170 bucks. We have the Classic Leather for $120. We have the Nano 3 Adventure Winter in Core Black and Hoops Blue for 160 bucks. The Nano 3 Adventure Winter in Stucco and Boulder Beige for $160. Now, moving on to Nike, we have the Air Force One Low Tanaj, which is this shoe right here. Where is it? Here. This one. This is not a JPEG. So I know you guys all remember Dot Swoosh. I still have the NFT that I minted when I created my account. Anyways, Nike is out here still trying to make NFTs happen, I guess, in their first IRL creation. Create creation? Creation. Cre IRL creation, I cannot say words today, is the Nike Air Force One Tanaj, which is short for, this is not a JPEG. If they want to get people's attention, they should change it to Tanag, which is short for, this is not a grift, which really most NFTs feel like. Anyway, we have the uh, Nike Jaw One Zombie on the 20th for 110. The Nike SB Dunk Low Fog, same day for $115. We have the Nike Air Hirachi Runo Cargo Khaki for 140. The kids Nike Air Force One Low Heel Stitch is gonna be on the 20th for 100 bucks. We have the um, kids Air Jordan 5 Plaid on the 20th for 150. Now, the mistake Jordan brand made is going with multi-pattern plaid on the upper. If this had just come in one specific pattern and they released a matching suit to go with it, everybody would be eating this up. Instead, it's just a footnote of a release that will end up sitting on store shelves waiting to go on sale. Great idea, but I just think a not so great execution. Anyway, we have the Jordan Tatum One Wave Runner. These are 120 bucks. So the sneaker is based on Jason Tatum's love of family trips he used to take as a kid. According to Wikipedia, the Wave Runner is a trademark name and a type of personal watercraft produced by the Yamaha Motor Company, not to be confused with jet skis or Yeezy 700s. The main difference between a jet ski and a Wave Runner is the driving position. A jet ski offers a more adventurous position than a Wave Runner. That's because unlike the Wave Runner, you'll most likely be standing up while piloting a jet ski. Again, the more you know. Uh, we have the Adidas Ultra 4D Spider-Man 2 on our weekly variety show, Hard Pass, which is on another channel that you can check up here wherever the thing is going to be. We talked about the Adidas Ultra 4D Spider-Man 2 in not so glowing terms, but that was a segment written by our staff. I personally happen to like these Ultra 4Ds as it presents the struggle between Spider-Man and the Venom symbiote. This is an official collab for the upcoming Spider-Man 2 for the PS5, so hopefully these shoes will make a cameo in some form in the game. Fingers crossed. All right, then our pick of the week is the Carhartt WIP Work in Progress New Balance 990D6. This is on the 20th for 220 bucks. With duck canvas, double knee pants, worn jackets, and boots in mind, this latest collab between Carhartt and New Balance is one that looks like it works a nine to five on a steel mill and comes home to a wife, two kids, and a dog in the suburbs. Only thing missing is a TV with a game on. 
We have the uh, oh Jason Dill Adidas Samba patent leather in white, black, and gold. These are going to be on the 21st for 300. I guess the third time's a charm as Jason Dill turns up the shine with his latest interpretation of the Adidas Samba. It's got a full-on glossy patent leather with metallic gold branding from the man himself on the tongue. All right, we have the Nike Air Force One Low 07 Premium. This is on Summit. This is in Summit White and Jim Red. This is going to be on the 24th. First, right, 21st for 145 bucks. The Ama Manier Jordan Air Ship. This is actually an in-store release. So if you're around one of those stores, you can go check it out. This is on the 21st for 140. We have the Air Jordan One Zoom Comfort 2, Dia de los Muertos. This is going to be on the 21st and it's going to cost you, uh, what, 165? Uh, we have the Nike Blazer Mid 77, the same thing. This is on 21st for 120. Uh, we have an Air Max One, same thing, 160 bucks. Women's Nike Dunk Low, same thing, 125 bucks. Another pick of the week, the Reebok Hurakazi 2. This is a Seattle alternate and OG inverse. This is on the 20th for 130 bucks each. Now, rounding out this week's releases, and there are a lot of them, are flipped versions of the Reebok Hurakazi 2, formerly known as the Kamikaze 2. First up, we've got a different take on the original Seattle colorway with the black and white flipped around with green accents in different spots compared to the OG. It looks very comparable and in many ways better than the original. Blasphemous as that sounds, I know, but God, look at it. The OG inverse colorway imagines what a Hurakazi 2 would have looked like had Sean Kemp stayed in Seattle and gotten to wear the team's red and green alternate uniforms. It's a little jarring, I have to admit, from an old school guy, but it is a good companion piece to the Seattle alternate nonetheless. So. That's it, I know, it's a lot of sneakers dropping this week. So I hope you're ready because I have a feeling it's going to get extra busy as we approach the holiday season, it's gonna get even worse. All right, I'm Jacques Slade and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.